five friends. This is me, and you are watching my channel, Information and Educational Video. So hope you all have checked the round one cutoff. As I have informed you regarding that, it is the round one cutoff of CSAP counseling has been announced now. So I have done complete analysis of all type of cutoff. So after that, I am providing you the complete cutoff trend for this year and what you can expect in the next round because it is very important to know that many of you are thinking whether to drop for next year or I will get something. So here I would like to discuss everything in detail. So if you're first to my channel, please try to subscribe and share this video to our junior. That's what I would expect from you because I am working day and night for all of you. So I would like to provide same type of information for next year's student as well. So please try to do this favor to this channel. So now let's come to the, come to the point. It is the similar type of cutoff trend is going. That is uh, uh, similar to JOSA counseling. It is the other branches than CSE and EC are having the cutoff higher as compared to last year. As you also know, this year the number of seats was more as compared to last year, but people are also getting aware because in previous years, very less a strength we are participating in CSAV, but this year I think a little bit more a strength I participated because more strength are aware of the thing that is CSAB counseling is there. Because in earlier years, CSAB, CSAB counseling was not known to many people, so they just uh, quit the counseling process after the JUSA counseling, but now many strand know so that's why there may be some rarity that is the exception in some college but the complete cutoff trend is that CSC and EC cutoff is going lower as per the previous year that's why I suggest previous year cutoff doesn't guarantee you the seat it can it can be a reference for you but here in case of CSAB counseling it can't be a reference also because in CSAB anything can happen you also know there is one seat two seat maximum three four seat available in the best colleges I am not talking about GFTA there are some more college available but in the NIT and triple IT only one two three four five six this type of seat are there so there can be different type of cutoff scenario every year there can't be a surety that it will go up to the last year for sure that's why I suggest don't take the last year cutoff as a guarantee because that will not provide you the complete information and I, I know many of you can relate now to my words that is last year cutoff doesn't guarantee you the seat if you were looking for CSE and EC, you can relate more. But now let's discuss about the other branches. The cutoff is going higher and you can expect more changes. If you are looking for CSE, then there may be very less changes. But in other branches and CSE and EC, there will be lots of changes. But if you are missing by 10 rank or 20 rank or even 100, 200 rank in CSE, then you can expect. But other, more than that, it is not possible, I think, because no one will leave CSC seat until unless he or she may not able to pay the fee, then that's it will be remaining vacant. Otherwise, it is not possible. But in other branches, many students will be not taking the admission. Suppose in biotechnology, material science, engineering, mechanical, civil, electrical, these type of branches, they may think that they will take the drop for the next year because very soon the JMS examination is going to be conducted for 2023. And many students already have got the seat in Comet K counseling. Jack Daily counseling today is the uh, internal upgradation is going on. There will be a SWOT iteration in bits counseling. So many a strand will be having the other option also. That's why the other branches cutoff will go a little bit more higher. Not a little bit, but more higher that you can expect that is around 20,000, 30,000, even 1 lakh rank increment also because there are very less strand as compared to JOSA counseling. Because in JOSA counseling, very much a strand participated. But here, if you are thinking that 80 to 1 lakh rank, there may be only uh, 100 a strand or 200 a strand only who are participating in the counseling process. So that's why there will be huge change in the round two. And also, I would like to inform you if you want to take the refund, that is, if you haven't got the seat and you are thinking that I will not get the better seat in the upcoming round, then you should surrender now. Then you should do the exit option because if you will get anything, you will not get the refund. It is as simple as that. So I will suggest to, and also if you have got the seat and you don't want to take the seat in next round, that is, whatever you got now, that also not uh, helpful for you and you are not going to take the admission in next round also so i will suggest to do the surrender option in that case you will be getting the refund once you go for second round and you got any type of seat there will be no refund it is simple and if you will not get any type of seat even after going for the second round then obviously you will be getting the refund and already i provided this detailed video regarding the refund policy i will try to provide you that again so that you all will able to get the complete information regarding the fee refund rule and adjustment rule so hope you get this information very useful for you so please try to ask your question in the comment if if you have any more if you need complete counseling guidance whether to drop for the next year or you should join any other college whatever you are getting that is private or government college or you should go with the csab college whatever you got or josa colleges so everything will be discussed 
by me separately with you and if possible with your parents so that you can take the right decision otherwise you may have to regret later after joining a wrong college or wrong branch so thanks again for watching this video please try to subscribe So now I would like to introduce the Philo app where you can get the solution of all your question, doubt or you have problem with any type of concept related to J or NEET or boards examination. Then you can get the solution 24 by 7 with these three easy steps. That is first you have to download the Philo app in the play store and then you have to do the sign up process using your mobile number and after that take the photo of your question and upload that in the app. And after that within 60 seconds you will be connected to the India's best educator. In question you want to say that bulb ki power is if the bulb is वो 220 वोल्टेज पर ऑपरेट हो रहा है राइट right? इस बैटरी का जो वोल्टेज है वो आपको गिवन है 220 तो ये आपको सिंपल रिलेशन हो गया यहां पर अब अगर कोई आपको और डाउट है तो बताइए सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग योर टाइम डाउनलोड द फिलो ऐप लिंक इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड यूज द कोड IEB001 यू विल गेट द 10% इंस्टेंट डिस्काउंट